got Bruno from a pet shop up in London five months next week. He got put on their doorstep earlier that morning. We were ringing around trying to find the dog and they said they had Bruno, so we took him in. I'd say he's an energetic dog. Good boy. Well done, that's a big, brave dog. Always wants to play. He just needs a bit of training and hopefully this will work. First of all, I'm going to see how Bruno works because sometimes you need to change your method according to what the dog is like. I could borrow him a second. Yep. Thank you very much. I'm going to try it myself first. Once I know that he's working well with a certain technique, I'm going to get Ryan involved so that he can do it too, that when he goes home he can practice. So, first of all, um, we're going to just get him to come back to where we want him to be and then we're going to feed him. And then when we've got him in the right place, we just take a step forward and then feed him. Okay. Bruno. Okay, doesn't get anything for that because he jumped. Yep. So if you do the wrong thing, nothing happens. Okay. Do the right thing, you get the treat. So now he's got the hang of it, we can start to put in a command. Ready? Heel. Good boy. So now we can do three steps. So if we can do four. Come. Two, three, four. And reward. Good boy. Once you've taught him that, then you can go on to teaching him not to pull. So not, not pulling means he can't go to the end of the lead without you stopping and him having to come right back. You just stop dead, bring him back again. So he learns that he can't get any further forward than your lead. Yeah. All right? Do you ever tell okay, him yeah. off for walking? No, don't tell him off. You just reward them for what you want them to do. We'll walk a bit faster, see if he wants to pull. Good boy. And he's keeping the lead nice and loose. Oh, a bit distracted chasing a leaf. So, do you want to have a go? Yep. Let me give you some treats here. <laughs> he's got a bit excited by the leaves again. Show him you've got one before you set off. And then a couple of goes. Good boy. Lovely. Okay, so you've got nice attention now. So now we need to try and go for a walk as normal. Yeah. So you can practice what happens when he pulls ahead. <laughs> Scary camera, isn't it? <laughs> okay, set off quite quickly as if we're going for a walk. And we'll see how much he stays around us. Okay, stop. Good. Well stopped. Bring him back into position. Feed him there. And then off again. Look how nicely he's walking now. So reward him, tell him he's a good, good dog, give boy, him a bro. treat. Good boy. That's brilliant. You good boy. I think that went really well. He learns incredibly quickly, even though he's, he's a young dog, he's really bright. So he learned quickly and also Ryan is a really good trainer. He's very quick to learn, his timing is good. And so he was able to pick it up really fast. I'll definitely take these skills home with me. When I take him out on the walks, I'll make sure he stays by my side and he will learn it. I'll make sure. Good boy. Let stay, me hold the lead and stay. Get... Lead, lead stay there. Come on. Oh, sorry. He's a bit concerned about the camera. Shall I start that end? But now he's twisted himself in the lead and got all daft. You're probably going to find that he's getting really fed up with this now. Get your paws tangled up. Oh, we've got a niche. Mm -hmm.